Hello and welcome to the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. The remastering of the original trilogy here. And that was a fancy new Bioware uh, intro. Anyways, let's get into the first one. This is going to be the uh, <laughs> George R. R. Martin run of the Mass Effect trilogy for me. And by that, it means there's going to be a lot of deaths throughout this playthrough. Yes, I am. It is my goal to get every single one of my squad mates killed, and also to have the most uh, mm, romance scenes, let's say, in the series. But firstly, Mass Effect One. Yes, uh, I've changed up a few of the options. As you should always do in every single game that you play, turn off motion blur and film grain, please. I don't know why they're on by default. Calibration, I like that. That's just basically, uh, what is calibration? It's the brightness, right? Yeah, of course. And uh, with Mass Effect 1, the gameplay, so I'm gonna be playing on normal. The level scaling, I'm keeping it to classic. I. I know that they've made Mass Effect 1 has been the one that has been remastered. So that's the one that plays like Mass Effect 2 and 3. In fact, I think 2 plays like 3 now. Makes sense, right? But with the levels, I'm going to keep it to the original. So level range 1 to 16. I, I, I think they've said that like um, you don't have to get out of the Mako now to like kill enemies and get the full XP. You can just shoot them in the Mako and get the full XP. Anyways, let's start this up. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Now, also, this is classified information basically requested. the first video I've made for my channel was Mass Effect. Connection. And here Secure we are, playing on the PlayStation confirmed. 5. I'm actually going to be... It's a new ID, because I think the default's just a uh, Soldier class, right? It's a new ID. I'm not gonna do the quick start. I'm gonna do custom mail. Uh, let's just name it after myself. Just Max, Max Shepard. Please Good. log in to access your profile. I'm actually gonna be a bionic in this playthrough. Now, <laughs> if you've been with me since the Warning. beginning, which Data maybe you haven't. Detected. Please reconstruct My first video profile. was Mass Effect 1, and I Confirm started that as uh, Bionic. <sighs> yes, and with it being uh, the George R. R. Martin run, I'm going to be the most evilest guy ever, apart from like my romance with Liara, of course. And as for being an evil guy, let's be... Let's be a colonist. Confirm psychological profile. Roofs. Confirm military specialization. Adept. Confirm facial identification. And I am one for liking the original appearance of the male shepherd. So I'm just going to keep to default Shep. Profile reconstruction complete. That is correct. Let's go. Identification confirmed. Squadmates level up only. I'm not going to bother like leveling them up. Um, Again, I've already played this game on my channel. I did the Insanity playthrough, so I've already played this on like Insanity difficulty. This, I'm just going to stick to normal, have a nice breeze, you know, through it, and enjoy my time. And hopefully, you enjoy it too. So, uh, let's get started. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call.
The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Requiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay, oof, oof. It looks so good, this game. And it's like, this game came out originally in 2007, and it was an Unreal Engine 3 game. And, yeah, it still looks pretty good. I, I mean, yes, it's dated, with like lip syncing and stuff like that, you know, the way their, mo their mouths move and stuff like that, but at least it's not as bad as Andromeda. I'll have more things to say about Andro Andromeda later. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Right. Okay. I told you, I just saw him. He marked by like he was on a mission. Specter, Let's chat to the crew. We're getting dragged right along with him. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A full crew makes sense. We need the extra hands in case anything goes wrong. And the Spectre is just here as an observer. Well, maybe you're right, Commander, but I just can't shake this feeling that we're out here on false pretenses. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He 
he's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus? I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Yeah, get back to work, Presley. Now, uh, the updates to this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure they updated the textures a little bit. Feel the view, light in, and it is, of course, 60 frames per second now. Oh yeah, and something else. I'm not going to be talking during like um, the interactions and cutscenes and stuff like that. I'm just going to like let Commander Shepard do all the talking for me. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up when we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the Captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council... The Spectres... The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. The Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> that was a break of immersion. Doing the same uh, dialogue scene twice. I can't access the galaxy map because I'm not the commanding officer. No, I will be very soon. Right, also, this game, I think it's... Well, this remastered trilogy, shall I say. I think it's just their ploy to try and get goodwill again with like the fan base after Andromeda, which again I will talk about very shortly when we're on Eden Prime. Also, they're trying to build hype for that next new Mass Effect, which hopefully Commander Shepard is coming back, baby. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. 
I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. 
Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrum, and he wants that beacon. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ooh. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. See that Normandy go. The SR-1. I do like the SR-1. Admittedly more than the SR-2. Right, so let's just see. Ah, oh, yes. So, they're taking the Mass Effect 3 approach. I'm pretty sure Mass Effect 2 has this one red health bar as well. Also, your weapon. Like that. Interesting. Codec. Level up. Level up. Well, I'm not actually leveling them up. I'm auto-leveling the characters. Well, the squad mates. Me? I think I'm gonna hold off leveling up until, uh, until I unlock that beautiful uh, Spectre stat, and then I'm gonna be putting a lot into maybe not stasis or barrier, but definitely singularity and like lift and throw. Maybe pistols and basic armor. Yes, in this one, um, your class determines which armors you can wear. So, with me being a biotic pure biotic. I can only have light armors. I can't have medium or heavy armors. What the hell are those? <laughs> this run's a bit goofy. Yes. You know what? I feel like they've uh, changed the sound effects as well. That like they've made the gun a bit more beefy. Maybe all the sound effects are a bit more tweaked in this one than the last one. 
Yeah, that's real time reflection. Well, maybe not. Yeah, that probably is real time reflections, right? Uh. Yeah, maybe it's not. Oh, I see the fatigue bar now. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say. They beefed up the sound effects. Definitely, I think they definitely beefed it all up. But the the voiceover is still the same. Now I've got grenades there. I don't know how I. How do I even use grenades? Square, right? And then you hit square again, right? To detonate. Yep. Okay. Got it. There's no Omni Blade in the first two Mass Effects. Right. We have Jenkins Rivers. Uh, say goodbye to Jenkins, everybody. Yes, of course. Like, I think I'm going to be in love with this game, pretty much. I think, we got it I think Jenkins got it. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Leave him. He was weak. We must be strong. Now, I'm pretty sure there's like a cover system, isn't there? I think the cover system stayed the same for Mass Effect 1. Oh, can I just tap? No, I think it's the exact same for Mass Effect 1. Eddie Jail. This is something. How do I use my powers? Just hold the thing. Can I map it? Right, so if I map it, I'm just going to map that one and use the throw. If I just tap it, right, you tap it. Okay, nice, good to know. Mass Effect 1? Mass Effect 1, you don't have uh, ammo. Lot of bodies. You have recharging uh, pistols, to catch up with you weapons. At the side. Audio squad attack regroup. So right, if I get an, my next squad mate, uh, Ashley, the right trigger will do that. Call them back, attack, call them back for now. Let's go. Alright, it's so Caden. How's that cooldown? Ooh, they got very, very long cooldowns, the bioic abilities. And obviously, not obviously, I've set it, let's just see how I've set it. I think I've set it so that like, um, it'll be gameplay, right? Gameplay. Ooh, squad usage. Right, yeah, so my companions, They'll use their powers at will. Take that gas bag. I have no mercy. Where's that medic kit? I think it was round... Here. Yes. I remember where stuff is in this game. Right, let's go get Ashley.
Right, I feel like there's not been a better time to get into Mass Effect than right now. Right, that's something as well. My warp will just bypass shields, just attack them outright for help. Oh, he's down. Hello, Commander Williams. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? I need a status report, now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime, none that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry, like I said, no Turians. Move out. Ah, yes. The space racist. Ashley. Stand fast this game as well with the uh, upgrades. Well, not upgrades. What am I talking about? The animations. <laughs> upgrades, animations. Yeah, they're the same thing, you know? Uh, no, uh, let us continue onwards. Oh, right. So, this is definitely BioWare's attempt to get you know, goodwill, good faith back between their audience. What's, that? What's this? It's a computer and then selects equipment. What do you mean? Equipment? Yep. Ah uh, yes, the whole supplying yourself with weapons and armor and stuff like that. Ooh, equip that, so I will. And uh, yeah, so they've made a few oopsies here and there. Bioware with uh, their recent titles that they've released. Dragon Age Inquisition was completely fine, but it was it wasn't like great. It wasn't like Dragon Age Origins from 2009. And Mass Effect Andromeda not that great, let's be honest. Mass Effect Andromeda is something that I paid full whack for the Right, I'm gonna turn off these. No, I'm not gonna turn them off. Just keep them on. But they are kind of annoying the tutorials. It does teach you how to play the game. Okay, you Geth Trooper. I hit the wall because I went into cover. Then you can just blast him. Melee attack, yep. <laughs> Just pistol whip him to death. 
Oh, what was I saying? Yes. Mass Effect Andromeda, I paid full whack for the collector's edition of that game, and um, yeah, I didn't even get past the tutorial stage. I mean, I already knew it was bad because I saw the early access stuff that people were coming out with, and I was just like thinking, there's no way they're going to fix it in time. You, you know, there was no way. That left a stale taste in my mouth with Bioware, and then I nearly bought Anthem, but I didn't. I was just like, all these games are beginning to look the same. I played enough Destiny 2 to like realize, hey, it all looks the same now. But hopefully this is a step in the right direction. Again, I really think they've said that there's going to be Mass Effect will continue. It has Liara to Sony, so she's holding that N7 helmet piece. Maybe implying that she's searching for Shepard, that the series can go onwards. So... I reckon this is just them getting the hype train back on back on the rails for the Mass Effect series and then uh, hopefully the next Mass Effect will just like hit it straight out of the park. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Right, yes, yeah, good to know that we have, uh, saves. <laughs> Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Good for you, Nihilus. Now, the husks. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Which are those things? <coughs> uh, how do I... Ooh, right, so triangle is... Triangle is... Many gel, square is grenade, circle, pistol whip, X is just to interact with characters in the environment and, you know, aim, shoot, that kind of deal. Uh, yeah, let's just go on to the next cutscene and then I'll talk more. Oh god, they're still alive! The Geth do to them. They robot fight them. Husks can be a little bit challenging here and there. Oh yeah, we can recharge the pistol. If I just keep blasting it, I will overheat the gun. Smacked him out of the way. Uh yeah, Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah. I watched it, it looked like it was completely pants. I listened to like a lot of the storyline and it was just, the dialogue was just really really bad in comparison to this one. Not to say that this Mass Effect trilogy has like the best like script ever, but it's, it's like a far cry. It's leaps and bounds better than Mass Effect Andromeda and then, yeah, I didn't get past the bit where, who was the player's Father, he was called Alec Ryder, Clancy Brown, Mr. Krabs. I didn't even get past his death in the tutorial, but I was just like, I'm just so bored and I feel like I've been ripped off. That's not a feeling that you want from like a Mass Effect game. So, what I'm saying is, this is going to be super enjoyable because I, I love coming back to the Mass Effect trilogy. That door, it's closed. Security locks engaged. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, 
Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy. And dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. <laughs> Say goodnight, Manuel. Forever! Right, okay. Uh, I was going to say something else about this game. I can't remember. No, I think Mass Effect is like... I, this first game for me... It's one of those ones... It, I class it alongside with like Halo 1. Where it just sets up the game world so beautifully in comparison to like other games at the time. I guess Bioshock as well is like a big one. But there's just something about this universe that they just they just nail it in this game. And I don't have that same feeling with the others. Like, uh, out of the original trilogy, Mass Effect 1 is my favourite by far. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. <gasps> Gunshot. That looks cool. Come on. I think the reason why I like this one more than the other two is the whole Seren as an adversary and like the mystery of like what does he want, what's going on, and then like the reveals if you get what I mean later on. Just so good. That ship's going pretty fast. It's gonna go. We. I'm off. See ya. Oops, Daisy. You know what that was? That was me instinctively uh, trying to. Uh, reload the gun, even though there's no reload in this one. Should really save the throw until uh, they get close. I don't know what's going on with that guy. There's the scaff, he's over there. Right, presuming if I... Come on, Gaff. Go. He's dead. Right, so my shield will come back. I don't think my health does, though. 
It's not regen health. There we go. The shield takes a long time to, like, come back. Yeah, I think it's just the whole... This intro is great. There's Dead Nihilus. They have updated the lighting. Um... Yeah, it's just the whole mystery of, like, Seren and, like, what what is he up to? What's all this deal with the beacons and stuff like that? I just, I love it. Let's chat to these guys. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, Felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Hand it over and I'll be on my way. Good luck. Right. So, I'm holding off on leveling up. But I am going to be doing the Renegade. Or intimidate. Yes, it's right on the red bar next to my shepherd, Renegade. It's already gone up a little bit, or down a little bit. It's basically my morality meter. In Mass Effect 2, it's a little bit more... Uh, ...obvious, because you have... Uh, ...cosmetic effects to the results of your alignment. And there are story reasons for that, that we'll get onto when we get onto it. Onto the second game, that is. In case you haven't actually, uh, you know, seen or played the second game. Again, I would highly recommend anyone play this series. It's, uh, for me, just one of the all-time greats. Before I investigate Nihilus... Ah, they got rid of the big fly flimes. The big fires around here, pretty much. Let's do that. And we've got quite a bit of stuff here. We can uh, skip rain talents. Equipment. Oof, that's Krogan Ar armor. Armor. <laughs> Don't know what's going on with my speech today. I'm not really uh, speaking that well, am I? Yes. Please. Ah, oh, the radioactive rounds and all this stuff that people didn't really use against organics, huh? Juice cooldown. Uh, let's do the this, even though we're not really going to be using it whatsoever. And uh, change character to Caden. Caden. It's always good to have. Do toxic damage. Heavy pistol. Can you get any better armor? You can. Have that. And actually, 
But assault rifle. Uh, that's the toxic chemical rounds. There we go. Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And, and it was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. <laughs> okay. Nihilus. Oh my god, man. I mean, he has... Uh... Why have I equipped... Why am I equipping my sniper rifle when my pistol's more... Appropriate for a biotic. But Nihilus, he has specced weapons and he's wearing Colossus armor. And he's saying, Hi, I'm dead! Uh, no, he's, um, <laughs> he is actually dead. Shh, got you. Well, I didn't get you. Caden got you. Or oh, Ashley. And, uh, yes, Colossus armor that, um, Nihilus is wearing is like the best armor in the entire game. Bring up the power wheel. Yep, I already know. You can slow down time and choose your targets. Select targets for Ashley and Caden to uh, shoot at, and then you have a squad mates. I am pretty sure. Ooh, look at that guy, he's coming straight at us. Alright, so they are using their abilities, which is nice. I'm pretty sure something. What was I pretty sure of? Uh, yes, they, they, they are going to be using their abilities the more they unlock them. It is inevitable. Oh, 
I'm doing pretty well right now because I'm on, as I said before, just normal. Baby easy wheezy difficulty. And. Ah, my, uh. This cooldown. Oh, the more you shoot, the more inaccurate your gun becomes. There's only one more guy. Gaff guy. Who. If I just hit him like that. Let's get over. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Disarm the bombs. Demolition charge. Right, let's just get hit X planet. next to them. That's Hurry. it. We need to find them all and shut them down. <gasps> we have a bit of a time limit here, guys. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know this uh, fatigue running bar thing. I can do that at any point. Whereas before you could only do that in combat. They've changed the game up so that you can run at any point. Which one is going to be sniper guy? Oh, have that. Pretty sweet. Oh yeah, they can bring up barriers and stuff like that. I like how toxic rounds can affect Geth. That should only affect synthetic, not synthetics, organics. Also, you'll find out that uh, the whole synthetics and organics thing is a very big thing in uh, Mass Effect. It's the classic sci-fi trope of, like, what is it to be alive kind of deal, with the whole do machines have souls, you know, that kind of thing. It's been going on since, well, probably way longer before, like, Blade Runner in 1982, but, like, it's, it's one of those... It's one of the tropes that like this game explores, and you know what? I think it's a very good, a good thing to explore. It's entertaining, if, uh, if anything else. All right, husks. Let's just, just quick hit that guy. He'll do that blast effect. And let us loot the rest of this place. So there should be some... Oh, there isn't. Oh yeah, there is. See? This is why you have to explore. You find all these things. I'm not going to do the upgrades, I'm just going to... Oh, there's a crate. Oh, it's up there! I missed it. Yeah, so this running animation right here... I, wouldn't... I don't think I'd have that. In this. I think you'd have like a little jog. You have a little sprint that's a bit faster than this. You don't go out in like a full... Don't mind me, I'm completely wrong. You have this silly looking animation. Right, good. Just locking all this stuff. There's a wall safe over there. I'm sorry, but that run looks a bit goofy. <laughs> to me. I'll give this game a 1 out of 10 because of that animation. Good thing about like um, looting all these boxes and stuff like that is you also get XP. It's a little bit of XP, but it still, it still counts towards leveling up to the ultimate levels. 
Feels like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. Okay, let's secure the beacon. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor! Dr. Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The Lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. 
I don't want her on my ship. I'm the captain of this ship, Commander, and I want Williams on our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. <laughs> Not yet though. So, that was a bit of a Mass Effect. The Legendary Edition. And it's going to be quite a big playthrough, not as long as my uh, Insanity Run playthrough on the actual originals. Uh, it's on my channel if you wish to uh, view them. But this is going to be a good, a good George R. R. Martin run. And again, as the name suggests, it's going to be full of death and <laughs> uh, maybe some sexy times, who knows. Uh, but yeah, if you have enjoyed, please do like and subscribe, and I'll have more of this glorious remaster to come. And as for a remaster, I think it has everything in it, apart from Pinnacle Station, because let's face it, who cares about Pinnacle Station? They said that they lost the source code. It's just because Pinnacle Station is just a bit shit. Alright, so next time, I'll see you later. Bye!